I have two very interesting square root equations for you guys. The first one is square root of negative x is equal to 4. And the second one is square root of x is equal to negative 4. Yes, I put a negative inside here and we have the negative on the outside here. And I will tell you, one of them actually does not have any answers. Which one? The answer is this, right? Because we cannot have negative inside. No, just kidding. This right here actually has no solutions. Not even in the complex number world. No, just no solution at all. So let's see why this does have an answer. Well, when we have a square root equation, if the square root is already by itself, we can just go ahead and square both sides. So that this and that can cancel, and the inside is still negative x. And we just have to do 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, and that will be 16. Okay, here we have negative x is equal to 16. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 1, so that we can get positive x here. And 16 over negative 1 is just negative 16. Well, we have an answer, but does this work? It does. After we plug in negative 16 here, we can check it and you'll see that it does work. So, here's the check. Not like the check that you get from the restaurant, but the check is like, here, let's just go ahead and plug in. Put that in there. Originally, we have the square root and then this negative here, but the x, we found it to be negative 16. So let me write that down. And do we end up with 4? We do, because if you look at the inside here, negative times negative gives us positive. So this right here does give us square root of 16, and it does give us the number 4. So it does check. So this right here is indeed the answer. All right? But you might be wondering, how come we cannot just do the same thing here? Well, I will show you. Go ahead, suppose we square both sides, you see this and that cancel, okay, and then we still get x equals this right here means negative 4 times negative 4, so we have positive 16, all right? And if you want to know more about this, I have another video in terms of like, does the square, does the parentheses matter? So go ahead and check that out. I explained that in a much more detail over there, so check that out. The answer is 16 here. Is it? No, it's not. Why? Because let's just go ahead and double check. Put 16 back to the original equation. We are looking at square root of 16, and are we going to get negative 4? Well, remember square root of a positive number inside? This right here should always be a positive output. Square root of 16, this right here, it's actually just the number 4, and it's a positive 4. But right here we are saying the answer is negative 4 on the right-hand side. So, of course, this is not correct. Therefore, this is actually not correct. This is not the answer. And just don't be too upset. Sometimes when you follow the same procedure, you might get the answer, right? But the answer is actually a fake answer. In that case, we call this answer extraneous. What does extraneous mean? Well, it's just like the answer that does not work. Even though you follow the procedure and you didn't do any computation uh, incorrectly, but it just doesn't work. What does extraneous mean? Fake. Fake answers. All right? So before we go, I just want to put this down right here for you guys so that in the future, you don't even have to do this. All right? Whenever you are trying to solve the equation square root, with whatever you have inside, like that's an x whatever inside, if the outside is equal to a negative number, just like what we have over here, well, this equation has no solutions at all. Not even the complex solutions, not even the solutions with i. No, nothing. This right here has absolutely no solutions, right? So if you keep this in mind, you will know that this right here has no solutions and you can just put that down right away and then you are done.